Welcome back. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've done so much now. It's time we start building. <clears throat> I want you to build a man cave or a she shed. It's up to you. <coughs> Excuse me. I want you to build it so that you can actually put things in it so that you could walk in it and relax. Um, let's think about that. Would this be your gaming studio where you're setting up all your, your computer games? Or is this where you do your artwork or where you just sit there and you get to listen to your music as loud as you want? How would you decorate it? What would you put in it? Here's the challenge, though. We now have to make a man cave, she shed, that would fit in the backyard. So it can't be huge. It's going to have to be kind of small. <clears throat> I want you to make one that is 12 foot by 10 foot by 8 foot. Now, 8 foot is the average height of ceilings in an average home. There are some... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> there are some variations. Some houses, they have the, root, the ceiling in the house only 7 foot. Some houses have it nine or ten foot. We're going to go with the average, though, that is eight foot. This is where you know you need to watch your dimensions down here. So if we want to draw a rectangle, and I'm using the rectangle tool, and again, we're looking at our colors. I'm going to delete that, control Z. I'm going to start back over here. There we go. I will put it more in this position. Now, notice down here in the lower corner, I've made it 12 foot by 12 foot. I want to make it 12 foot by 10 foot. So I'm going to bring it back in a little bit and back up just a hair. All right. <clears throat> now I got a little below 10 feet, but that's, that's a good objective there. Then I'm going to use my push-pull tool, and I'm going to bring it up. I'm at four feet, six feet, ah, eight foot. Okay. So now that's about the size of the man cave we want, 12 foot by 10 foot by 8 foot high. I want you to go ahead and put a roof on it, put doors, windows, and I want you to find the things in the library that you would want in there. Do you want a... 72 inch TV. Do you want a, a refrigerator? Do you want a computer desk? Would you like a recliner or a couch? What would you put in this if you built it? But now you're still also starting to understand. That's what SketchUp is used for to build things to design things, to create the blueprints that you can then turn around and give it to a builder, and then they know exactly what you want, where to put it, what shape, what size, what style. That's what blueprints are for, and SketchUp is good at that. So think carefully about what you're doing. Understand there's a reason for it, but decorate it. Personalize it. I want you to make this look like something that you would use. If you could build yourself a she shed, a man cave, what would you put in it? Would you put a front door, two doors, a lot of windows, no windows? What would you put on this? What would you put inside? Give me some screenshots of what you've done different. Personalize it. I want to be able to tell that it's yours. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you have a good weekend. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions. Respect yourself. Respect your family and your friends. Wear the mask.